Okay, what up guys and welcome back to Earth's class for five more minutes of math. Now, you see up here I got some more solving systems of equations and you know what I got for you? Some more word problems. Exactly right. I know you can't wait, man. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me get one up here. Oh, okay. Remember how much Mr. Herb loves burgers. So let's talk. So on Monday. I take my family out to the burger spot. I get two burgers and four fries. Yep, and we spent $25 total. Yeah, so we like the spot. So we went back on Thursday, and I like the burger so much that I got two for myself and two for the wife. So we got four burgers, but he didn't like the fries. So we only got one fry to split. And that tab came to $29. Now, up here's enough information for you to tell me how much does a burger cost, how much do fries cost. Yeah. Let's set up some equations, man, see if we can't figure this out. All right, let's talk. So, two burgers and four fries add up to $25. I bet we can write an equation for that. Two burgers, whoa. Yeah, two B, where B is the price of burgers. Now, here's where you can use variables that make sense to you. I'm putting B for burgers because I'm not graphing these, so I don't necessarily need an X and a Y. So, the price of a burger is going to be B. Yeah, let's add in the price of the fries. Yeah, of course, if I buy four orders of fries, I multiply by how much fries cost. That's exactly right. F is the price of fries. When I add up these two burgers and these four fries, I spend how much? $25, of course. Now, for the second situation, can I just come up with a second equation? Of course I can. Four burgers. Uh-huh. One fry. Uh-huh. Add it up to... $29, exactly right. Notice how these equations are set up exactly the same. B's on top of B's, F's on top of F's, numbers on top of numbers. I'm already thinking, yeah, elimination. If I do a little sign change and maybe I multiply by a number, I'll bet. If I multiply this top equation times negative two, yeah, just like that, wouldn't it result in this? Yeah, of course it would do that. Exactly right. Now these will eliminate. Let's go ahead. Yeah, of course, when I divide both sides by negative seven, I get, of course, F equals three. The price of fries is three dollars. So I just plug that back in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I, exactly, and then I, exactly, you're right. A burger costs $6.50, fries cost three bucks. Uh-huh. We got time for one more. Okay, here we go. Me and my family like burgers. What can I say? So on Saturday... We all went out as a family. We went to a different burger place where the burgers were eight fifty. Yeah, it was a nice weekend, man. I forgot to take my family out and spoil them a little bit. What do you know? So fries were three twenty five. We bought eight items, and the total bill was thirty six fifty. Now we know how to do the money equation, right? First off, let's get some variables up here. Yeah, B for burgers, F for fries. Exactly right. So if burgers are eight fifty a piece, and I buy B number of burgers. Yeah, it'll be 8.50 times B. Now, I know you're not used to seeing decimals in here, but it can happen. Yeah, as you can see. Exactly right. Let's add in my fries now. Good. I'm paying $8.50 per burger, $3.25 per fries, and my total tab was good, 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 good. There's one equation. This is about the money. Exactly right. But there's another number up here, and I underline that for a reason. I wish there was another equation. Right? I wish there was another equation that we could talk about burgers and fries. Well, wait a minute. Let me say I bought eight items and I'm only buying burgers and fries. Think about this. Yes, that. Don't my burgers and fries have to add up to eight? Uh huh. That's exactly right. That's what this bought eight items means. So now I got two equations. Look at how they're set up B's, F's, numbers. This looks like elimination to me. Yes. Now, all I got to do is figure out what I can multiply this by so that it would cancel. Couldn't I just multiply this entire equation by negative 8.5? Let's do that. Bang! Just like that. Now, your elimination pros by now, so now you just add these down to cancel, add those down to solve, plug it back in. Oh, yeah. After you do that, you'll find out that that we ordered two burgers and six fries. Yes, yes. And if you don't believe me, take them numbers and plug it back in. Uh-huh. Man, I hope this helps. Have some questions for me next time. I'll see you. Okay, bye.